All right, Saturday afternoon. You're listening to the Saturday Rub, of course. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what we've got. Oh, thanks to Hardy Anchor, by the way. Sean Burgoyne, not far away. Andrew Embley is going to present the Norm Smith medal. Nuff, nuff, Chris. Hurry up, JB. Oh, I've now. Oh, 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 hurry up. Look at this. I, I don't know why I'm on oh. this pox-ridden show, but <laughs> I'll, um, I'm, I, you've got me for 30 seconds and then I'm leaving. I've had a gut full of you. I don't know whether any... J- Bill, I know you work with James seven days a yes. week, but Jesus Christ, try living oh, with him. <laughs> he he is currently on worm tablets. He's got worms. Oh, who's so oh, who's ringing you? A delivery of worm tablets arrived today. He said he said oh he said I'm going to do this big uh, strenuous exercise meeting and uh, we're going to get out there and he said would you mind coming out on the pads and I'll just uh, float like a butterfly and sting like a bee and it was like a little ant yeah. and every time I slapped him in the mush he got upset that I was fighting back I said that's what happens in fights JB exactly. when you box that's what happens the laundry oh. I haven't washed one thing yeah. yet of mine Funny every day the laundry is full this guy is absolutely <laughs> as clean as you can possibly get and that's why he's infected with most things you can possibly think of <laughs> it, 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 the, the, he refuses now you will all remember the famous shot that James Brayshaw posted of his home of a wheelbarrow yes. an axe yes. and a pile of wood the yes. wheelbarrow was brand new yep. the axe was brand new and he remember he tried to get us all to pretend <laughs> yeah. that he'd split and the, the wood, wood. Was yes. pre-cut. Wow. I did. pre-cut to keep us warm here he has, well, we've had a load of wood delivered, Ooh. and guess what? what? Oh, he, no. I said, go and chop some wood, uh, no. JB. <laughs> and, 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 and he grabbed the handle as if he was trying to strangle it near the head, <laughs> which meant there was no, he had no idea no how leverage. to get on the end of it and swing the bastard, really <laughs> swing it hard and chop down on it. I've never seen a more pathetic effort uh, to Bristle. chop wood. This is, this is part of what I'm putting up with. Bristol, what about the windows? Now, be honest, what oh. about the windows? So JB said, oh, is no. there a job that I can do? And I said, well, look, JB, oh. there's three windows there, got a bit of oh. smattering of salt about them. Three. I said, give those a go. So he's got out with his little chamois. He said, where's the chamois? Brian, can you mix up some hot water and uh, bubbly, soapy water so I can do the windows? And away he went, and he took about four hours to do the windows. And they look no oh, different. Really. <laughs> now, BT, I've been able to, uh, you know, big contacts Ooh. over there, Billy, no, uh, you in have. Perth. Oh, and I've, I've sent a drone over the top to take a couple of photos. <laughs> and I've managed to take a photo of JB's training equipment. Oh, and no. we're going to post yes. it. We're going to post it on Triple M. Oh, but we've got a photo oh, of his gloves the and the weights oh, no. that he's been using. Oh, Bill, oh, what, what, what they're one, size? They're pink one kilo weights. One, oh, not one <laughs> they're the, kilo. They're the lightest. And he boxing, walks around the yard. The lightest <laughs> boxing gloves you <laughs> can <laughs> use. Kathan, got to, we're going to post it. So uh, yeah, get online and have a look at, at JB's. Triple M Footy yeah, on at, Instagram. Yep, they are tiny got, weights. I tell you what, you've got to see and tiny gloves. Tiny weights. Granny was ordering. Well, they're little pink gloves, they're yeah. nice little mitts. Uh, 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 when he was ordering the weights from this gymnasium that delivers weights to your home or whatever, uh, the guy, he said, oh, you got any dumbbells? And he said, yeah. He said, yeah, I've got lots of dumbbells. What do you want, the 40 kilos ones? And JB said, no, just the one kilo ones. <laughs> hey, Boomer, Boomer Harvey, when I was at North, Boomer Harvey used to say to me, I didn't even know we had those weights in the gym. <laughs> but it's, it's Tabata timing, Bill. Oh, you know what that is? Oh, it's three minutes on. 30 seconds and off, cooking, 12 rounds. And cooking. And, oh. and then the fu- the fists of fury yeah. are flying everywhere. You're the, <laughs> softest, you. the softest bloke he I know. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, Brian, how are you? Because we were all worried a couple of weeks ago when we heard about this big explosion oh, yeah, with the uh, hot water yeah, system and then look. had to get in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> look. And put it out of Melbourne. In a helicopter. <laughs> now, Bill, right. just a couple of things of concern. Right. Right. The <laughs> geographical location <laughs> meant that that was the only way. <laughs> and, Bill, my lungs could have been melting <laughs> in that period, so <laughs> thus the urgency. So, but, yes, there was not much wrong other than I had my head blown off, uh, <laughs> Bill. Burn eyebrow. Uh, I don't know whether you've eyebrow. ever been... I don't know whether you've ever been uh, in a... LPG gas explosion or not, but uh, it wasn't too good, and it was quite traumatic, and the whole episode was very traumatic, and I don't think you should be making no. fun of it at all, Bill. Well, you're embarrassed to catch the helicopter, the flight. Listen, it coincided Were you with the same... Listen, 
It coincided with the same day that Duck had his vaccination and he missed three days' work because of his vax. Well, you know where they got the chopper from? Pucker Punyal. Yeah, the they couldn't get yeah, the real big double, the double <laughs> propeller the double one. Spin up. The oh. double spin-up. And they there was one above that. Yeah, that and, one and, up. And, and it was a big net that they carried him all the way to the hospital. In. And they were going to dump him out in the water and they said, no, no, no. He's got to go to hospital. He's got his eyebrow blown off. I couldn't land on. I couldn't land on the Alfred Hospital landing pad because it had a uh, ten-ton gross net uh, value to it. So I had to land in the park. Hey, BT, what has been the cooking arrangements there? We, we had a chat during the week, and, and Jim oh. was uh, cooking four quarter chops and sausages. Oh, beautiful. I thought Jim was more the, the lack, of, the rack of lamb sort of yeah. operator. I thought they might have been seasoned, and as you say, in a rack formation or something <laughs> of that nature. Four-quarter chops, out, BT. Yeah, four-quarter chops, the real, yeah, real, real uh, uh, low cheapies. smacker <laughs> chops they were, uh, just uh, <laughs> almost feed them to the seagulls. But uh, I've... Um, oh, so you're well, on the beach. You devoured 12 of them, you told me, that. No, we're not on the beach. We're well, said uh, in a hotel. Oh, okay. Hotel. How is the house? Uh, uh, who has the bigger bedroom and all that? Who's in really in charge? Oh, uh, uh, who do you reckon? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll take a while. Yes. The bigger bloke. Oh, God, yeah, of course I do. Uh, no, but I, what I've done by way of cooking, uh, Damo, you'll be interested in this because you cook yourself. Uh, I made last night oh. my very world famous pasta sauce. It was, oh. it, was, salt. it was beautiful. It had no salt. And the bristle Stuff just spaghetti. devoured. It was what's like in a, it, Jim? A, a what's in it? Pot. Obviously, tomato. No, I can't, I what can't, else? I can tell you what's not in it. Yes, <laughs> I can't be, I can't be uh, giving my sauces up. I literally oh, Jim, can't it's, be it's giving the sauces up. It's a pasta sauce. It's not rocket science. <laughs> it's world it's world it's famous. It's on the nuclear I, coast, Jim. It's just a, I, what's in there? I finished my bowl and JB said, would you like some more? And I <laughs> oh, just about, it just about uh, you know, curdled on me. You know what was interesting, Bernard, is <laughs> yes. that's what he says now. I came down here this morning and the whole pot was <laughs> empty. <laughs> well, listen, so somehow it had gone. It had gone I, somewhere. I had managed to secure a couple of lobster tails for tonight, so uh, that's what I'll be cooking on the barbie tonight. I reckon Brian we get got up a barbie, in the middle of the night, oh, and he go into the cupboard and yeah, get a yeah. few bickies and into the fridge. What's the name? Nigella. No, 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 Nigella. Nigella. What happened? Nigella. Who no, wait, just it, takes the chocolate a, out of the fridge. It'd be a chicken in a biscuit yeah. barbecue yeah. shaped yeah. man yeah. under yeah. the bed, yeah. like yeah. just on a midnight snack. Listen. Listen. I know JB's collecting forensic evidence on this, but when he goes to bed, because he goes to bed very, very early, JB, because I think he gets up and talks to the bride up there. Oh, I love you. I love you. And I you, I'll be home when I can. I've been watching The Last Dance again, and I just have a peep up the hallway to make sure all the lights are off, and then I come back, and there's a big box of Oreos. There was a big box of Oreos. And I sneak into those, and there's also some Savoy crackers that I think thought he'd been eating, but apparently I ate the whole box. And, uh, not to mention the packet of cashews and the four packets of potato chips that we've had so far. So, <laughs> what, what have you been doing, though? Spare yeah. time. A lot of spare time. Talk. What are you doing? Cards, pickles, well, I'm a, Monopoly, uh, you're I'm throwing a, each other's clothes on? <laughs> no, no, I'm a... I'm a I don't know whether you know, Bernard, but I'm a uh, kindling expert. Oh, oh so no, I didn't. There's a special um, chopping thing here, and I get and I chopping slice thing. kindling for about four hours a day. Every and day. In your hotel room, BT. In your hotel room. Roughly. In your hotel room, yeah. yeah yes, hard. well, it's a ground floor hotel room. <laughs> and, uh, it's got a tree here on the back. And tree. what I'm doing is putting it into three kilo packs, and I'm placing it at the Selling door, it. and uh, for anyone to pass by, put it in a jar, $3. They tell me, Brian, you You've been wheeling and dealing because oh, obviously yes. it's a big footy now game listen, coming Bill. up. But there's a lot of lunches and there's now a listen, lot, of, lot of dinners, Brian. Yeah. And you've been yeah. wheeling and dealing, Brian. Oh. And when they say, can you do our lunch for us? And uh, we haven't committed to more than half an hour at any one because we know there's a chance of well. trifectas and eagle quadrillas on any one given day. So we've been keeping ourselves free for the you know, portions of the day. Just Are you going to try and cut my lunch as you did last year? In, in Brisbane, BT, oh. when you got wind of oh, me doing oh, one and tried oh, to take yeah. it off me. Oh, Damien, don't bring it up. I thought we'd forgotten yeah. that. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a little, little, there's a little side something. area down yeah. here, uh, Bill. There's, yeah. there's, it's like a walkway down the side. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I just look at the window and all I can see is Brian with the phone to his ear yeah. up yeah. and back, up <laughs> and back. And I shudder to think of the deals that are being done. Oh. Let's say it's been busy. <laughs> well, they can only have so much of Glenn Jacobs and his stories, to be honest, can't they? And, and, and right. Macintosh uh, and... Uh, Robocop. 
Oh, no, 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 no. He, oh, he, he just talks about beating, smacking duck to pieces yeah. all the time. No, yeah, he does. To be honest, he's yeah, Joe Fraser. Deadly serious. Oh, oh, so bristles, bristles, <laughs> heading off to get to hit the phones. Oh, what? Uh, but we, <laughs> we might get him back later just for a pressing. JB. Yeah. Hey, BT, I've got a quick question for you though. What what is your rate? Because I heard it's a <laughs> touch lower than uh, oh, than no. Jim's. Oh. Well, um, Bernie, no. Um, no. Oh, oh, you don't disclose uh, oh, okay. personal no. financial information, but if you That's want to speak question. to my manager, uh, you can do that. And uh, it's always better to be in work rather than out of work. Yes, yes. good and, work, uh, Brian. And, and it's good uh, to put so something back to these clubs over there, Brian, isn't it, yeah. where well, you grew up? Well, that's the ratio, Bill. I, I work on a one-one, so yeah, it's one even free, better to take a lot out of them, Bill. In one BC's free, eyes. one charge. One free, one charge. Well that's done, how right. I do it. It's free, good. It? Bloody good blow. So look, people uh, I've spoken to over here, and uh, we are both full right up. Uh, when the, when the chockers. Cho chockers. All they're saying to me is, "Thank God we don't have to listen to Bill's shit ever yeah. again." <laughs> Last time he came here, he just hey. bored the crap out of all of us. Me, oh, Mouse, Jesus. and Dougie Hawkins. I let let oh. me tell you, the three of us did we do some work over there. Well, they, they don't want you back over here. They've had a gut full of you. You're old and you're all crappy and no good anymore. So they, they, they've welcomed the freshness of myself and JB. That's oh, for sure. Oh, and Damo. Fight well, over who, who will them see it. What, what we need to acknowledge well, uh, uh, as a matter while of fact. we're at it is uh, that we are strictly in quarantine yeah, and we're see. very thankful for the WA government's help. Yeah. Because otherwise, we can't do this. No, now, and, and that's right. And uh, oh, Listen to this it, now. It has, it has, I will say this. No, it has been not easy, but w at least being with someone is, a, is slightly... At least you've got someone to talk to, but it's... Uh, well, Purple's nice. just done it on his own. This is my third quarantine uh, demo, so I'm a quarantine yeah. expert. Oh, you're not is a it, is it your favourite favorite one? Mate. Is it the best one you've had because you've got your it best buddy Jim there? It hasn't got any easier um, <laughs> at all. <laughs> we need to get to a break. We I just, I just hope you're not sending any photos to your partners because uh, oh. you'll be in more trouble, you two. Oh, oh my goodness. What does that mean? Because of the luxury that what? they're in. Oh, okay. They're, they're, it's, a, it's, a duck. Oh, yeah, it's a little bedsit, Duck. It's a little bedsit, I've heard. Bottom luxury. level. <laughs> Just uh, a reminder to, to go to break. Triple M at Triple M Footy on Instagram to see the photo of James's uh, equipment. Oh, pink! Old linguini arm, yeah. says Daz. <laughs> uh, what about how are your kids' weights going? From Gavin? Or oh, come on, Jim, that's woeful. From Keenan. <laughs> come on, Jim. Uh, Hose. Yes. I'm not thinking any of that's particularly funny. Okay, we'll call one triple three five three for the quiz. <laughs> Keep going, Hose. <laughs> Ring us now, Brian. We'll speak to you yeah. later. One triple three five three is just, the number. Just going to sweep the sand floor. Bill, <laughs> you've got <laughs> one. Segment to get the quiz done next. Wow. Shut up, Are you listening? Yes. What are we doing? The quiz next. One, One triple segment. three, All five, right. three, ring now.